Welcome to another video. This is Tug from Wax on Wax Off Pro Detailing Ceramic Coatings. So this is a video about clear coat restoration. Uh, this BMW M3, it's a 2015. Since <clears throat> it did not have mud guards most of its life, a lot of stones uh, came up off the front tires and even the back. Uh, but the worst damage is the front, uh, the driver's doors and then the quarter panel where it kind of flares out and those stones kind of like sandblasted the paint over time uh on top of that this has been repainted uh not the entire vehicle but most of the vehicle has been repainted by three different shops the front end was painted uh by different shops and the quarter panel and the deck led previous owners i'm guessing um have caused damage for whatever reason anyway the quarter panel uh, on the driver's side was repainted in the in the deck lid as well probably by the same shop and it's it's one of the worst paint jobs there's pretty much no clear coat the color does not match so since the bumper the hood and the two front fenders are in decent shape i uh, felt it necessary that we needed a clear coat um, this whole thing so uh, what clear coat restoration is, we're actually adding clear coat onto the vehicle. So the prep has all been done, decon wash, and then we lightly compounded it uh, to give it a little bit of, uh, to bite into the clear coat so the new clear coat can lay down. So this is actually very similar to factory clear coat that we're adding. Uh, it is self-leveling, um, so as it gets put on, it is a um kind of a balance you you have to constantly walk soaking the edge of that little rolled up microfiber uh getting started and then you kind of add as you go if you add too much it starts to drip if you're not enough then it can streak and haze so you have to strike that balance so i know this color is hard to see what we're doing but if you do look closely you can see where it goes down it actually you know gets darker and kind of wetter um as it gets laid down you can kind of see the line and this because it is real clear coat uh, it will fill in certain scratches stone chips so the stone chips are pretty significant on these doors uh and we probably improved about 50 percent so covered up um at least they, they don't jump off the paint and you know catch your eye uh, as much but you can definitely still see it but it's it's not as bad and on top of that adding more clear coat is never a bad thing unless the car's new brand new um or never been out of the garage or something like that it's clear coat restoration is not for um the vehicles with very very good shape clear coat it's for neglected repainted uh scratched scuffed depleted worn so it's it's for heavily worn or medium to heavy worn uh clear coat um, and it is a great product when it polishing really won't do any good or if it does do good you're going to remove too much clear coat so uh, mainly i wanted to add clear coat because i'm installing my five layer ceramic coating on this one and it just needs a good uh, base to stick to so obviously coatings perform based on what they're on uh, so if the paint is neglected and thinned out then it's going to perform accordingly even a even a really good lifetime coating may fail if the uh, clear coat is not in good shape so this process adds about probably about 10 microns just depends on the vehicle and how much uh, it happens to be on the towel at that time but it's it's roughly about seven to ten microns which is a significant amount if 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 it has 50 microns and you're putting 10 on that's a fifth that's that's a huge improvement um that's a 20 percent increase in clear coat now uh, you can really see it a lot better here and then when this stuff cures um it, the overall gloss will be uh, greatly improved 
so as far as taping stuff off, I don't really need to. Uh, I taped this wing off because the solvents in this clear coat of fit would have touched that, even though solvents touching that tape isn't good either. But they will actually melt, uh, possibly melt that plastic. Although that's painted and clear coated, maybe it'll be fine. But I did not want to add clear coat to that. I just don't want to risk making it look worse because that is possible. If you took a brand new car and started doing this too, you actually might make the paint, uh, you increase the thickness, but you might see bumps and streaks that shouldn't be there. And it's really just not necessary on a brand new vehicle. You'll take a flat, smooth surface or fairly flat and smooth and, and kind of make it more bumpy or, or streaky. It, it kind of looks like cornrows. Uh, when you put too much product down, it'll, it'll look, uh, look a cornrow effect. Um, it, this product, it just needs a place to sink into and new clear coat, there, there just is nowhere for this stuff to go. So, um, this is about a two day cure process. So it cures for two days, the solvents gas out, and then it's ready for a coating. I waited a little bit longer with this one just in case, just because of the significant layers I was putting on. I just wanted to give it a couple extra days and this is just one of those projects I, I just wanted to take my time with as well. And as I'm recording this, uh, the car is sitting beside me in the wash bay. It is cured and coated. And it looks incredible it uh this video does not do it justice even taking a picture uh seeing it in person it it really does it's uh it's an incredible it's just incredible coating this whole process i did this to my car as well put the same coating on i re-cleared re-cleared at mazda's uh, not known for putting a lot of clear coat on and mine had some blend work done and i didn't want to mess with non-factory clear coat so this is about as close to factory clear coat as you're going to get. So the really cool thing about this, like if your car got repainted and the body shop told you, oh, well, okay, your driver's door was damaged. We repainted it. We, we need to repaint the whole side so it matches. That is a lie that they tell you so that they can make more money. If it doesn't match, tell them to paint the door. If it doesn't match, you bring it here. I can re-clear coat the whole side and then it will match. And it's a whole lot there's no point in taking off perfectly intact factory paint just in case it doesn't match. And you, I mean, like the idea of removing a perfectly good factory paint, which is far superior, far superior to body shop paint, just does not make any sense when the panel is not damaged. Um, so if your vehicle has had body work done to it, I'm telling you most likely it has about a five year clear coat on there that's all that stuff is good for it's cheap it's crap they're trying to you know maximize their profit and i get it they need to make money but body shops make enough money they could buy better clear coat but they don't so if you've had body work done and it's a car you actually care about and you want to keep it bring it here and let me re-clear coat all that body work uh, and then maybe even the whole car because I, I'm just telling you now I've seen so many I've seen cars come in that have had the the bodywork like that's done on this and if it gets used every day you're gonna get five to six to seven years out of it maybe that's fine for you but in three years what do you think it's gonna look like and then in four years so maybe you trade in your car every couple years and you don't care then that's fine whatever um, maybe you bought the car that the, that guy traded in and it's on its seventh year of uh, post body work done. And you see that it's something does not look. One panel looks really dull and blurry and the other ones look pretty glossy. Well, it's a good indication that it's been repainted. So uh, I would suggest this clear coat restoration process be done because, uh, and then protect it with a, with a ceramic coating because it's once the clear coat's gone then it needs to be repainted there's no bringing it back
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. If you're not, um, hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, uh, who has had their car painted? Uh, leave a comment if you've had any experience with body shops and they try to tell you, oh yes, we need to repaint your, even though it's just one door, we need to repaint the whole side because it might not match. If they're telling you that, leave that place and go find another shop. Um, a good body shop will be able to match a panel. A good body shop can actually just fix the damaged area rather than doing the entire door. Anyway, this is the final result. Uh, this is being recorded, I don't know, 10 minutes after the last bit of clear coat went on. So it's about four hours is when you kind of start to see some curing and some gloss increase. Of course, it looks glossy now. Cars always look glossy on camera, even dirty ones. Um, But let me know what you think about this process and the results. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.